and uh, a necessary ingredient in the women's short program from here on to the next Olympics will be a triple-triple combination. <laughs> Combination is coming up now. She's planned a triple flip, triple toe. Like butter. Short program. This the spiral sequence. One, a triple out of footwork. Great height on her triple lutz, and you can see the speed she hands on the landing of the jumps. Extra marks for that. She's a young, delicate skater at 16 years of age, and she's really worked on her maturity and her overall expression to be competitive in the senior ranks. Those triple jumps sure help, Rod. The age of 12, she had all five triple jumps mastered. Beautiful layback. that one. We say her name now, and I guarantee you we will be saying her name a lot in three and a half years if she continues to do what she's doing. This is someone who's so young and will only be 19, 20 years old in Vancouver in 2010. The talk of the women's skating world these days are actually girls, are teenage, teenagers like Yuna Kim and Mao Asada from Japan who won Skate America last week. And Yuna Kim, she's really put her name up there first skate of the night here. And this is not as well as she's been skating in practice. As good as that triple flip, triple toe was there, it wasn't as strong and as high as we've seen her do in practice. But she will score big marks. And here's her footwork into her triple lutz. Nice flow. Look at the confident landing position. And what I love about Yuna skating is she has as much speed on the exits of her jumps as she does on the entries. But I did mention that the triple-triple combination was not a factor in the short program at the last Olympics. <laughs> it, uh, it will be in this next quadrennial. Uh, the top two finishers in the short program at Skate America did triple-triple, so the bar has been raised. Now, for her rival Mao Asada of Japan, she scored last week 68-8-4 in the short program. Yuna Kim's personal best, 68, 60.86, and this is now a personal best for her and a very good score. 